so I met Fernando in December of 2016. This was about six months into their blossoming relationship. The instant I met him, I could feel his coolness, his calm demeanor and happy nature. By the end of our first afternoon, we'd ended up wine tasting and you know, a couple glasses of wine and Fernando starts to recant some pretty cool stories, including their initial dating scene. You've been invited here for a good reason. Fernando and Jenna have chosen you because you're special, you're important in their lives. By being here today, we accept a certain amount of responsibility to support them as they build a life together. See, Jenna didn't think Fernando was into her. Fernando, knowing this, needed to make a move. They lived at the same apart apartment complex, so he took the first opportunity he had, which happened to be as she was coming back from a workout and her sweet yoga pants. <laughs> the famous quote then followed, you look good. It's one of the most important days of their lives, and we have the privilege of sharing it with them. On behalf of Jenna and Fernando, I want to thank all of you for being here today. As I share, I would encourage those of you who are married to listen closely. Much of what I'm about to share is a reminder of the precious gift that each of you have been given and that gift is someone who loves you. Fernando was also one of the first ones to get his, his license, so we had a lot of good memories in the, the uh, uh, again, Uthi's car, where we would you know drive around Miami and get into trouble until someone else had their car, and we would take that car. And then we also shed a lot of tears um, on the soccer field, and the one memory that comes to mind is when we lost uh, senior year in the sports final. So me and Fernando go back a long time, and. We have a lot of a lot of memories together. Today, Fernando and uh, Jenna, we publicly you publicly express the love that you have for one another. Today is a celebration and expression of that love. Today, you formally and publicly make your promises and commitments to each other. Although this ceremony is a high point in your relationship, the marriage relationship is a journey, not a destination. It's more than any one event or promise. It's a way of life. Today we celebrate the next step in the love story. For those who know their love story, we know there's a richness to it. It's a relationship that has been tested over the course of time, and the love that they have for one another has deepened and has matured. Fernando and Jenna, as we celebrate the love you have for one another, I want you to take a moment and just remember the important journey that the two of you have been on. There's been months of planning that has gotten us to this day. God has pri provided you with a beautiful setting, uh, friends and family here to support you. And uh, Today is really about making more memories. Uh, the memories of today will be a treasure for the two of you for a lifetime. Probably one of the most important words in the Bible related to marriage is the little word one. When two people walk down the aisle in front of friends and family, they pledge their love for one another, openly expressing oneness of heart spirit and mind, a oneness helping each other build a common loyalty, a common commitment, a resolve to face life together for a lifetime. One of the greatest, greatest ministries, mysteries in the Bible centers around the principle that two shall become one, that a man shall leave his father and mother and shall be joined with his wife, and two shall become one flesh. More recently, I had the opportunity to get to know their relationship a little bit further. In preparation for Jenna's bachelorette party, I sent Fernando a questionnaire as a game. I expected to get some pretty short answers back from Fernando, but instead, he surprised me with some of the sweetest responses. His detailed remembrance of their first kiss, leaning against a bike rack. <laughs> His favorite date at a small romantic restaurant in Italy at sunset with the perfect ambiance. And the first time he said, I love you, as Jenna fell asleep in his arms, which according to Jenna, she was already asleep. 
All of Fernando's answers sounded like he was writing a romantic book of their love story. You're my travel companion, my best friend. As Jenna's sister, I have been constantly impressed by Fernando, and I am beyond happy that Jenna has found such a caring and loving guy to share her life with. Jenna, I know you are in good hands with Fernando by your side, and Fernando, I'm so excited to welcome you to the family. I promise to earn your love every day, like it's the first day. <laughs> I'm like halfway through. <laughs> Fernando, you are cool, deeply caring, and always up for an adventure. You're the cool that will serve as Jenna's rock, and your compassion and support will carry her through good and bad days. But marriage is a partnership, Jenna, never take for granted how passionate and caring Fernando is, but he will need you as his crutch occasionally too. You, you two have chosen to be partners in the adventure of life. Grow together, do push each other outside the comfort zone, even if it means spontaneous and very expensive vacations while you have no children. Life always has a way of throwing curveballs. Your biggest advantage is your strength together and your ability to talk through it and laugh, of course. I promise to hold your hand kiss you goodnight, tell you I love you, show you I love you, and of course, wash the dishes. I promise to give more than I take. When you're sad, I will wipe your tears. When you're sick, I will take care of you. When you're tired, I will make dinner. And so, in front of God, family, and friends, I promise to love you and honor you all the days of my life. Proud of who you are and what you And I love you both. And I wish you many, many, many happy years together. Thank you. Fernando, you are everything I hoped for and dreamed of in a husband. You have been my best friend, mentor, confidant, and my greatest challenge. But most importantly, you are the love of my life, and you make me happier than I could have ever imagined. You make me unbelievably proud, and I vow to make you as equally proud as your wife. You have made me a better person, as our love for one another is reflected in the way that I live my life every day. I'm truly blessed to be a part of your life, which as of today becomes our life together. I vow to be faithful and supportive and always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I promise to comfort you when the gators lose <laughs> and drink beer with you <laughs> and drink beer with you when they win. <laughs> I will be yours in sickness and in health, and I promise to take care of you even when you've overindulged the night before. <laughs> I will be yours for richer, for poor and I promise not to spend all our money at Nordstrom's. <laughs> <laughs> I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk with you through whatever our lives may bring. You are my person, my love, and my life today and always. Fernando, I love you forever. Mm -hmm. Overall, Fernando is one of the most caring people that, I, that I've known, and I could say this genuinely, Fernando, he doesn't have a bad uh, comment in his body. You never hear him talking bad about someone. You know, he's always trying to be the, pacemaker, the peacemaker. So Jenna, in all honesty, you have found whether it's someone to be your travel mate or to haggle with the uh, contractors working on your home um, or be that person when you're sick or when you've had a bad day at work, uh, you've really hit the home run with Fernando.
Fernanda and Jenna, in the presence of friends and family and God, uh, you have declared your love for one another. You've expressed the desire to be husband and wife, to spend your future together. You have made a promise of faith and devotion and have sealed those promises with the exchanging of rings. May your marriage be as modern, modern enough to survive the times and old-fashioned enough to last forever. Fernando, you may kiss your bride. Amen.